Well, Carolyn, he spoke for over 30 minutes and surprisingly the least amount of time that he spent on any subject was education and that debt free college policy. He spent a lot of that time addressing other hot topics, building up his running mate Hillary Clinton. And I got to tell you, his confidence really seemed to fire up the crowd. I'm one strong man who's thrilled to support a strong woman to make history and be our first woman president. Strength in the face of opposition is why Kane says his running mate Hillary Clinton nearly fainted leaving a 9-11 memorial event on Sunday. Don't get your hopes up. It's probably not going to work out for you. Hillary Clinton has been told that her entire life. And that's why she's so disciplined. And that's why she is working so hard, even pushing through. She got told, hey, you know, you're a little bit sick. Well, I'm going to still go at it. I'm going to still go at it. I'm going to still go at it. That's who she is. Then appealing to the thousands of students present, Kane highlighted Clinton's newly released debt-free college plan. It is easier to refinance a loan on a yacht in this country than to refinance student loan debt. And there's something very, very wrong with that. And Hillary Clinton and I are going to change that. Kane addressed his views on immigration and foreign policy in a unique way that really hit home with some students. Like I worked as a missionary in Honduras a while ago and, and 35 years ago, and we used to have this phrase, adelante no atrás, forward, not back. We're not going back. We're going forward as a country. It's pretty good. It's pretty good Spanish. Yeah. To acknowledge that we know we are a very, very important part of the United States and we are Americans too, um, I think that appeals to, to me for sure. I have run eight races, and I have won eight races, and I'm not losing this one. I'm not losing this one. Well, he mentioned there some of his history. He began as a city councilman, worked his way up to mayor, then governor, now senator of Virginia. And that confidence definitely was catchy. But the education plan to make college debt free and even tuition free for many people here in Michigan. Well, a lot of students I spoke with thought, man, what a great idea. There was also a lot of skepticism with the reality of that, whether it could really happen. Overall, though, these students, for many of them, it's the first presidential campaign event they've ever been to and they were definitely excited by the experience reporting live here in Ann Arbor. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson 7 Action News.